scientists finally come clean about what's happening on our moon. Previously, in 1966, the Soviet Luna 9 mission marked a pivotal moment, becoming the first spacecraft to touch down on the moon. Prior lunar missions resembled cosmic shot put, sending out objects in space in hopes of making an impact. This is Explorium, and welcome to our channel. Russia's Luna 25 mission ended in a crash, leaving more debris and another lunar crater. Surprisingly, other tech-savvy nations face similar hurdles. In 2023, Japan's iSpace mission and India's Chandrayaan-2 encountered failures, raising questions about the Moon's complex landing challenges. One lesser-known factor that adds to the complexity is the Moon's peculiar and uneven gravitational forces. Unlike the Earth, where gravity exerts a relatively consistent pull, the Moon's gravity fluctuates across its surface. Scientists have observed stronger gravitational forces in some regions often linked to impact basins created by colossal asteroid collisions. These areas have a surplus of mass, making the Moon's gravitational pull anything but predictable. In 2019, scientists even confirmed the existence of a mysterious mass beneath the Moon's south pole, estimated to weigh about two quadrillion tons. While we're not entertaining the idea of an ancient alien mothership buried beneath the lunar surface, the true nature of this mass remains a mystery, contributing to the Moon's gravitational enigma. This irregular gravitational landscape adds an extra layer of challenge to lunar landings, making them even more unpredictable in demanding precise execution. So the next time you wonder why lunar landings are so tricky, remember that not only are they technologically complex, but the Moon itself has some gravitational surprises in store, making every lunar touchdown a thrilling adventure and a testament to human ingenuity and persistence. When diving into the history of space exploration, one of the most intriguing revelations is that many attempts to land on the Moon have, more often than not, culminated in failure. While this might not come as a shock considering the nascent endeavors of the late 50s and early 60s, where expectations were modest at best, it's the continued streak of lunar mishaps that raises eyebrows. For instance, even as NASA transitioned to its surveyor program in 1966, an initiative designed to pave the way for the triumphant Apollo missions, the success rate was far from confidence-inspiring. Among the seven surveyor missions, the first mission veered off course mid-flight, tumbling into a crash landing on the moon. The second mission mysteriously lost radio contact with Earth just two minutes before the intended landing, leaving a shroud of uncertainty around its fate. Yet the Apollo missions, the crown jewels of lunar exploration, stand as a beacon of success amidst the failures. And this is where the crux of the matter emerges, the stark difference between human and robotic missions. People possess the remarkable ability to adapt, improvise, and overcome challenges in the heat of the moment. Take for instance the iconic Apollo 11 mission, and before we explore more, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It could have been a catastrophic failure were it not for the legendary pilot Neil Armstrong. As their lunar module detached from the main spacecraft dubbed the Eagle, it immediately went off course. The computer guidance system, while exceptional, could not contend with the unexpected deviations. It adhered rigidly to preset calculations that would have led the crew to peril. Here's where Neil Armstrong's heroics mirrored those of a galaxy far, far away. He made a daring decision to abandon the computer's guidance and rely only on his instincts. In a cinematic moment reminiscent of Luke Skywalker, he steered the lunar module under full manual control with only a few precious seconds of rocket fuel left. This split-second decision ensured a historic, triumphant landing on the moon. However, not every lunar mission can boast a seasoned Navy pilot aboard, ready to outsmart unforeseen challenges. Robotic missions, on the other hand, lack the capability to think on their feet or wheels, rather. They hinge on meticulous planning and meticulous execution. If even a single aspect deviates from the grand plan, failure becomes the most probable outcome. Furthermore, the Moon's proximity to Earth is deceptive. It may be a stone's throw away in cosmic terms, but it's still distant enough to quash any dreams of remote control. Communication with lunar landers suffer from a time lag. The round-trip signal journey takes about two and a half seconds, which, in space exploration, might as well be an eternity when precision is the name of the game. To add an extra layer of complexity, the Moon lacks an atmosphere, unlike Mars, a planet that NASA has notably conquered multiple times. Mars, though farther away, offers an invaluable advantage. It possesses a minuscule atmosphere. While thin, it's denser than the vacuum of space. This unique feature enables the use of parachutes to slow down spacecraft during their descent, acting as a crucial safety net. 
However, the moon, with its vacuum-like conditions, renders this approach futile. In a nutshell, while lunar landings continue to present formidable challenges, it's the human ability to adapt on the fly that sets us apart from our robotic counterparts. The moon may be our cosmic neighbor, but it demands a whole new level of precision, creativity, and nerve to land softly on its barren surface. When it comes to safely landing on celestial bodies like the moon, the science behind these missions is truly captivating. It's not merely about touching down gently, it's a complex dance of both physics and engineering. Now let's peek into the nitty gritty of it. Mars, our cosmic neighbor, provides a fascinating comparison. Unlike the moon, Mars boasts a tenuous but existent atmosphere, which offers a unique advantage. The relatively dense Martian atmosphere allows the use of parachutes during descent. While these parachutes alone can't ensure a soft touchdown on the red planet, they do a splendid job of slowing down the spacecraft significantly. This slowing effect is crucial because it buys time for the lander to conduct a controlled and assessed descent. Moreover, for the final phase of landing, something as simple as airbags can be employed to cushion the impact, especially for missions carrying a lighter payload. For Mars, NASA's larger rovers have used a combination of retro rockets and an ingenious sky crane for a gentle touchdown. These technologies rely on the Martian atmosphere, albeit thin, to execute their landing strategies. This approach has worked admirably and allowed for highly precise landings. Now let's switch gears back to the Moon, our nearest celestial companion. However, the Moon doesn't boast an atmosphere. This absence presents a formidable challenge. Lunar landers must rely solely on propulsion to perform a safe landing, making it a vastly intricate undertaking. Even the spectacular SpaceX Falcon 9, which has made powered landings appear almost routine, leans heavily on Earth's atmosphere to control its descent through aerodynamic drag and grid fins. The moon, with its vacuum-like environment, necessitates a different approach. When it comes to lunar landings, the key task is transitioning from orbital velocity to a standstill relative to the lunar surface. Achieving this goal hinges on a meticulously timed sequence of rocket burns, a complex and high-stakes procedure, irrespective of whether you're NASA or any other space agency. But there's an added layer of complexity. Modern lunar missions are aiming for the moon's south pole, a stark contrast to the more accessible lunar targets of the past. Earlier missions took the path of least resistance, allowing a two-dimensional trajectory to land at the moon's equator. It's like firing a projectile in a straight line from Earth's equator to the moon's equator, ensuring a relatively flat path. However, the game has changed. The Moon's South Pole has become a hotspot for future lunar exploration, with tantalizing prospects of discovering vast stores of water ice. This water is not just for drinking, as it contains precious oxygen for breathing and hydrogen as a potential fuel source. Landing at the South Pole demands an entirely new set of challenges, as these missions require three-dimensional flight paths and precision that pushes the boundaries of engineering and exploration. It's a learning process, and sometimes you have to stumble before you can stride confidently. Just like NASA's earlier lunar missions, they faced their fair share of setbacks before triumphing, modern lunar explorations continue to learn and adapt with each endeavor. For instance, India's lunar mission Chandrayaan-2 initially faltered with its Chandrayaan-2 mission, but learned valuable lessons that paved the way for its Chandrayaan-3 success. In essence, the quest to land on the moon is a testament to human ingenuity, resilience, and the unwavering spirit of exploration. It's about taking risks, experiencing setbacks, and emerging stronger and wiser with each mission. After all, every space adventure, regardless of success or failure, propels us forward in our search to explore the cosmos more than before. Believe it or not, our journey to and exploration on the moon is still in its early stages. We're still in the infancy of exploring the moon, said Palatai.